Hello, everyone. Welcome to Python for Everybody. I'm Charles Severance. I'm the instructor for the class. And uh, right now, I want to go do uh, exercise 3.1. Uh, re uh, rewrite the pay computation that we did earlier in the previous chapter and give the employee one and a half times the hourly rate. This is rather simple. It's a very classic computer problem because it it's gives us our if-then-else. And there's a lot of different ways to write it. So we're just going to do enter the hours, enter the rate, and do the pay. And so um, I'm going to start by going into my terminal, CD into my desktop, CD Python for everybody. And so here we go. Let me go into Atom and get things started. I'm, I've already got this folder, I mean this file from the last one, to assignment 2.3, and I'm just going to save as. So I'm going to duplicate this file, and I am going to go up to PY4E, and then I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call that folder EX0301 for exercise 3.1, and then I'm going to call this EX0301.py. Now that's just the same files I had before, and if I do an ls, you'll see I've got the new folder, so I cd into the EX0301 folder. So that's the folder that I'm in all the way down into this folder and I do an ls and I see this file and so life is good. And I can say python3 ex0301py. I'll just put in 1010 so it's 100. Now the thing is is that we're supposed to give time and a half for overtime and so that means if there's more than 40 hours, 10 and 50, it's not supposed to be 500, it's supposed to be 500 plus half of 10 extra hours because the 10 extra hours are the 10 above 50 so that should be I don't know we'll figure it out it's easier to run a computer okay so this is the code we've got so um, what I'm going to do is change this I'm going to make a new variable called AR I'll call it FR stands for floating point rate and floating point rate is going to be the float of the string rate um, let me just call this SH for string hours and SR for string rate and SR. So this stands for, my variable is FR for floating point rate, just so I can keep them straight in my head. SH is string hours, and so now I'm going to say uh, floating point hours is equal to float of string hours. And now I can change this, so I just am saying FH times FR. So I, I, I split this out. Um, I can even like print FH comma FR. It's perfectly fine when you're writing this to add like, oops, extra print statements just for your own sanity. So now we're going to read the two values. We're going to convert them to floating point numbers. We're going to print those floating point numbers out. We're going to multiply them. And then we're going to have the pace. And then I save it. Always remember to save it. right? So it has this little dot up here. All editors give you something that tells you you didn't save it. And I'm, so I always keep saving it. Because if you come down here and you run it and you, it's like it didn't change. Well, that's because you forgot. So let's do our 10 and uh, 50 hours. So we see this extra print statement that came out. That's that extra print statement right there. Let me make this a little smaller and let's move this over here so we can see it a little better. Yeah, make it a little bigger so we can see a little better. So uh, that print statement's there. And, um, you know, just for yucks, I'm going to comment that out. And so commenting things out is a good way to keep stuff in that you might want to kind of turn back on. It's a way of thinking about it. I don't want this line to run, but I'm just keeping it here. Comments are usually for users to read, but they're also a way for to tell the computer to ignore what we're doing. So, um, okay, so the problem here is this calculation. That is not time and a half for overtime. So, um, so the way we're going to solve this is with an if statement. If the floating point hours, FR, is greater than 40, we should, I'll say print, overtime and then 
else colon the if and the else have to line up print regular so I'm not going to do anything different I'm just going to print the words regular and overtime okay and I just save that I'll, I'll do it so fast you watch the little blue dot happen and then go away that's because I hit command s to save it because I've done this way too many times. So I'm going to run it. I'm going to say, uh, oh wait, uh, hours is hour, uh, 10 hours, $10 an hour, it's regular pay. If I do it this way, I can do 50 hours at $10 an hour. That's not good. What I do wrong? FR is greater than 40. What did I do wrong? It's still saying for 50 hours, something's wrong here. It's saying it's regular. If FR is greater than, oh, that's because I just like messed my program up. So look, I called this variable SH and this SR and then I get the floating point for the hours, but look, I'm checking if the rate, FR, that's the mistake. So it's really, I've got to look for FH. That's a logic error. It's a perfectly fine program. Python's perfectly happy with that. And that was, that was I was messing up. I kept putting, see, I was, I was typing the, the uh, rate in, I, was, I thought, so I was just typing it backwards. I was crazy. And again, that can be the kind of mistake that you run into. I mean, I didn't do that on purpose. I did it because I haven't drank enough coffee yet this morning. Hang on, let me get some coffee. I have more coffee. I'm still going to make mistakes. So now, there's no little black blue dot, so it should work better now. Python, run it. So 10 hours, $10 is regular pay. Run it. 50 hours, $10. I did it wrong again. I told you what I wanted to change and then I didn't change it. FH. Oh, I'm like crazy. Again, you can you can be crazy too. Can you look right at it? I looked right at it. I did the wrong thing. Uh, hooray, it says overtime. And now you notice, I mean, I'm not being silly here where I put this print statement in and it, it it's so tempting for a, a programmer to just just immediately try to like Bam, finish it. And and I don't know why I did it this way. Maybe because I know that I'm flawed and I know that I make dumb mistakes like that. And what can I do? So so I was just being really careful there. Now I know, let's just be sure, if it's under 40 hours, it's gonna be a regular computation. And I'm gonna leave these print statements right in here for a while because whatever. So here's the interesting thing. So I'm just going to indent this because the regular pay is to take the number of rate, the hours times the rate, okay? And now I got to come up with a slightly different pay, XP is equal to, and so there's a couple ways to do this. We can say time and a half can be calculated by saying um, the number, the, the rate times the hours. Well, let's do it this way. Let's call it regular, the regular pay is the rate times the hours, FR times FH. And then the overtime pay is equal to the, now we know that we have more than 40 hours because we couldn't do this in here. So if I say the uh, number of hours that you've worked, FH minus 40.0, that is the number of hours above 40. So if this is 50, then the FH minus 40 is gonna be 10. And then I'm going to multiply that times the rate, FR, except you get one and a half times, right? So your overtime pay is the excess hours times one and a half times the rate. Actually, no. I See, I see I made a mistake already. The extra overtime pay, because you're going to get all your regular pay, so the 50% the or the half is the extra. And see, I'm confused, so I'm just going to print out reg, comma, OTP. And if those numbers are right, I can do XP, which is the pay, is equal to reg plus OTP. See, my program is always 
I have to make it a little smaller. Let's uh, make it so you can see the whole thing, right? So I think I got this right, right? I figured out the regular hours, which is giving you the base rate for all 50 hours or 45 hours or whatever, figuring out the excess hours, and this is the bonus amount. There's lots of different ways that you can calculate this. But in general, we have an if statement on this side, and this else is the easy one, and that's 40 hours or less. So if we're doing greater than 40. So I just hit Command S to save it. And so let me clear my screen with Command K. So I'm going to do 10 hours at $10 an hour, and that's a regular calculation, and it's $100. And so if I do... 50 hours at $10 an hour. So my my regular pay was 50 times 10 and then the excess pay is $5 an hour times the extra 10 hours which is $50 and so my pay is $550. And so it looks like I've got this calculation right. And so here's, here's the thing. I, I've been printing these extra print statements in. It's a real common thing for a programmer and you can look on GitHub and see code that I write and I just leave these in because you know that could be broken but you're not supposed to print this extra stuff out and if you do this in the auto grader it's going to complain about these extra things it's going to consider you broken and again so I, t I comment those out to do one final test and notice the little blue dot so i have to save it and now i can run it one more time and i do 10 hours ten dollars and it prints out exactly what i want to see and not the extra stuff because i commented them out and I do uh, 50 hours and $10 an hour is $550. So I've got it right. And at that point, you should be able to go back and go to your auto grader if this was in the auto grader and paste the stuff in. Okay. So uh, I hope this uh, exercise 3.1 was uh, useful. Um, and thanks for watching.